My name is Irene Gobriel. I'm from Dana Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, and we're presenting here in this meeting several clinical trials on smoldering multiple myeloma. But today in the morning, we presented the exasmib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone trial in high-risk smoldering, and this is building on the current data of Lendex or Len alone in patients with high-risk smoldering myeloma. We know that those trials were done compared to observation and showed a huge difference in progression-free survival. But many of us have a uh, in a question about whether lenalidomide alone could be enough for patients who have a high-risk disease and whether that can cause clonal selection. So the addition of a proteasome inhibitor is a huge uh, important factor to add to the response rate in our patients and potentially giving them long-term benefit. The Mar Marivy Matthias has done already a study with carfilzomib blendex in patients with smoldering myeloma but there was a question whether this has a high toxicity in those patients who are asymptomatic. So we built on this experience with using exasmib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone, all oral agents, trying to give our patients the high response rate, but also minimal toxicity. And given that it's oral, it's an easy uh, and well-tolerated regimen. And today we showed that we have a 100% response rate. Over 50% of the patients have a complete remission or very good partial remission. And of those patients who had a complete remission, we have 70% of them have MRD negative disease by next generation sequencing. And so far we have a 15 month follow-up and we have no progression and no end organ damage. And we're hoping that this will be one of those options that we offer our patients with high risk smoldering disease, three oral agents, high response rate, minimal toxicity, and hopefully we can delay progression to overt myeloma with this regimen.